it's uh, Dom Smith here for Sound Smith Mag TV, Leeds Festival 2013, Hawkeye. How has it been today? You had a good one? Uh, amazing day. Uh, surreal, bizarre, unusual, sensible. <laughs> we, we got back from Amsterdam at stupid o'clock last night and yeah. don't really fully understand that we're even back in the country yet, yeah. but had a great gig, yeah. Amazing. Cool, cool. Well, you're looking, yeah, you're looking very clean and nice, friend. Thanks. Yeah, this is the festival we were Thanks. just talking. Uh, for the guys that, uh, you know, surprisingly, if anybody around this area, you know, we're Yorkshire lads too, don't know who you guys are, could you just give yourselves a nice bit of introduction for the, uh, for the, for the uh, viewers? We're Hawkeyes, we're a band from Leeds. This is my friend Paul. This is my friend Rob. Paul does the singing and plays the guitar, I just play the guitar. Yeah. So I am 50% as good as him. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Lovely, lovely. <laughs> and you guys just got back off a mammoth tour system, sitting for down, man. Yeah. Crazy. Like, how did that go? How was that? Uh, again, I don't even fully understand that we actually just did it. We played some very, very big arenas. I think maybe in six months time we'll understand what actually just happened. It was just nine hour, ten hour drives, massive arena, nine hour drive, massive arena. Um, I can't believe that we did it. We're just a band. that We made a band in a basement and we're lucky enough to have played those gigs. Yeah, man, Leeds is finest. Any standout moments? Like just uh, obviously looking out the I mean I saw some uh, clips, man, looking out the crowd and that it looks, I mean, it looks incredible. Was it, you know, any standout moments from that? It was just maybe cliched but it was all brilliant the crew the band were incredibly welcoming the crowds were really responsive to us um, it was just all brilliant wicked wicked well you guys obviously got some new material that's what this is yeah uh, we just want to ask a little bit about you know it sounds great you've had some great reviews a lot of people loving it which is fantastic how does it move things forward from your previous material from ideas from your previous work what are you trying to aim for with uh, with this new stuff? I think we uh we, we constantly challenge ourselves with like our harshest critics and when we got to we like to do this thing where between records we like to do an EP just because it, it gives us a chance to, uh, to test out some new stuff and try some new things and see you know what, what really works you've got to like you've got to turn over like material so quickly nowadays and uh, um, it gives us a bit of breathing space as well I think with this EP we just kind of wanted to take ideas and strip out some of the complexity and focus on the bits that were the best bits of that record and try and sort of make that a little capsule. Now we've done that, we don't know what the album's going to be like, we might go completely the other direction, we don't know, but it's about challenging ourselves constantly and saying let's not do what we did before. So yeah. Yeah. It's absolutely pointless to do the same thing again. It was also the first songs we've written with Steve on drums. Steve didn't play on ideas so he had a year of intense touring where he'd technically been playing other people's songs so he was really keen as we were to get new stuff out there with the current lineup. Um, and he writes some really good riffs as well. Yeah. Like yeah. Steve has come into the band and he's not just a drummer, he's like he's brought new new guitar parts and things and we just kind of gone well we'll have them and yeah. we'll just make it the Hawkeye so it all, it all evolve again I'm sure. It's yeah. quite nice as well because you uh, you approach him from Japanese players and obviously you've got a long, he's got a long history in Leeds as well so it's quite nice it seems like a bit of a family thing you know all those bands kind yeah. of sticking together and stuff. I think that's exactly what Leeds is really lucky that it's not just bands as well but promoters, artists, people who make videos, it's just an incredibly creative place and luckily enough when Matt, our old drummer, decided that he wanted to move down south and he couldn't commit time wise, Steve's old band was splitting up and Steve was sort of turning up at all of our gigs saying, I love you guys, <laughs> it's just, we were really lucky that the transition was so easy. You learn four years worth of music in about three weeks which yeah. is a testament to his level of musicianship. Yeah, man, yeah. I'm going to ask you about a couple of the tunes because I've got, I've got a glimpse of like Chief and a couple of other tunes the other day. Uh, for Chief itself, you know, what inspired that track? You know, what, obviously from the new stuff. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the inspirations behind that one? Um, I think again, we were trying to do new things. We, yeah. we want When we did ideas, we wanted lots of different sounds on the record, and I think different styles we did that, but maybe we didn't push ourselves in terms of the sounds of the guitars. Yeah. Uh, with our new EP, every song's in a different tuning, and that was one where we decided just to tune it really, really, really low. And it a bit can. of a nightmare to play that, yeah. those four songs live, because every song on that, on the, every one of those four songs is in a separate tuning. So. But it, it's like, I think that came about because 
we sort of play tennis with riffs with each other and Rob invented this riff and then we kind of ragged it through the mill and turned it into a, a more straight riff, it's still odd and then, and then I just came out with the verse part and then we put it together and then we record it and then I go away and I think about what I'm going to sing over the top of it and that's pretty much how we write. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, because Never Never just don't have to say it's like really complex and heavy with some really nice melodic parts in it. Is that the same, just the idea is trying new things, trying it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, again, it, it all starts with someone, and it doesn't really matter who, bringing a riff in and then it just, people throw it round and we play it and play it and rip it apart, change it, play it again, rip it apart, demo it, rip it apart and then yeah. Paul gets a chance to go away and think about what he wants to do melodically with it. It's always got to be. How is it going to be a song? It's yeah. not just let's be really complex musically for the sake of it. Yeah. Well, so uh, what's next for you guys? And you've got the Coheed dates coming up with the, with the Leeds band Battle Lines on the bill as well. And yeah, it's, it's brilliant. It's nice one. to see those guys on the bill as well. Yeah, I was just talking yeah. to them before. So uh, I've, I've, I've watched them play uh, small shows in the uh, Nation of Shopkeepers and the small venues around Leeds. And they've been, they've been, I mean, they're, they're fantastic musicians. And to, be playing with them is great. It's again going back to that thing about Leeds being a great community of musicians. There really are so many good bands from here, and it's not all just one genre. Yeah. What is nice is that all it's cross genre support for each other yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, so they're doing that with us, or we're doing that with Coheed and Cambria. I don't think we're playing the same dates, which is a shame, but representing Leeds. And then we've got a, a tour in October with the Black Spiders and Baby Godzilla from Nottingham which is going to be a uh, really good, really good. And we've got a, a, a an EP release gig in London on the 6th of September. Is it the 6th? Yep, yep. Uh, Black Heart. Nice plug. It's always yeah. good. It's a nice venue as well. Nice and venue. buy our new EP. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> buy 12 copies. Cool. Well, you guys are obviously veterans of the Leeds music scene and the festival. Uh, particularly for Leeds and Bramham, what are your tips for a good Leeds festival for fans of yours and also uh, obviously just surviving it, bands to see, bands you're looking forward to seeing while you're here. Uh, tips for tips for the Hawkeyes, uh, the uh, Hawkeyes fan club kind of thing. <laughs> uh, Is there a Hawkeyes oh, there will, fan club? Oh, there will be, there will be now. What's it yeah. called? Bird love, I don't know. <laughs> Bird. Bird love. <laughs> Um, that, that, I think that could be I think quite illegal, actually. At a festival, always have a look at the, the line-up, plan out what you want to see, and drink lots of water. Yeah, lots of water. But clean up after yourself. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't be a dirty boy, be yeah. a clean boy. Cool. Bin. Bin it. Yeah. Just talked about the cutting parts of being clean. Cool. Any tips for bands people should check out? Obviously, we talked about battle lines as well. But, um. uh, Witch Hunt, uh, Nine Inch Nails, they're a small new band. You yeah. might have heard of them before. Biffy Clyro. <laughs> Small bands, you might have heard of them. <laughs> Done a couple of songs on the way up. Yeah, cool. cool. And now uh, we we're just talking about guilty pleasures, so I'm going to chuck that one in. Any, uh, we're, we're a big fan of 90s uh, guilty pleasures, it sounds fair. We listen to a lot of that stuff in the office. What are your 90s uh, guilty pleasures if you've got any? Well, I don't think we're what so much, uh, we're more of an 80s yeah, kind of band. I don't really think it's guilty pleasures, I think it's correct. Whitney Houston, Toto, Ryan really likes Simple Minds. Um, Kansas, uh, uh, Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan, yeah. Uh, None of these are guilty pleasures, though. Steely Dan, uh, Eagles, uh, maybe in my 70s. Glenn Fry, the Glenn heat is yeah, on. Yeah. That's, a, that's a really important tune, you've got yeah. to have that on all the time. Yeah, really. yeah. nice. Any, something off the Rocky soundtrack on repeat? Yeah, cool. Mr. Mr. We can go on. Yeah. I like it. It's insane to the inner workings of uh, Hawkeye. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. The inner inspiration is fantastic, guys. Well, thanks ever so much for your time, and I hope you have a great thank rest of your day. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much.